Hey guys, welcome to Connie's Wigging Out. I have two sister styles to show you. Hunter by Aesthetica. This is what I have on. It's in the color RH1226 RT4. So it is a rooted color. And I'm also going to show you Tressalore's New Wave. And this is in the color Cherry Wood HL. And this is what she looks like. Oh, oh I love her color. Anyway, this color I have on is about what I normally wear. It's sort of my tones that I go for. Um, but this is really pretty too, and I actually do like it on my skin tone, which is kind of surprising, but I do. So let's get into it. This is a short, shaggy, cute um, style with bangs, which I have not worn probably since the 90s. <laughs> Give you the measurements real quick. This is, um, the bang is three inches, which is really nice because I think the bang is a little bit longer on the Tressalore New Wave, so I'm probably gonna have to trim that bang a little bit. Um, the bang is three, the sides are 7.25. Of course, they're layered, choppy layered. Um, crown down is 6.75 and the nape is 4.75. So she's just a cute, short, shaggy bob. I love her. I've seen several other reviews that people have done on this wig you sort of can't mess her up. Um, she's sort of one of those that the messier you get her, the better she looks. Um, and which is great because I wear a lot of really straight styles and, you know, sometimes they're difficult, especially out in the wind or in the rain or, um, just generally having to kind of brush them through throughout the day and kind of keep that straight, sleek look going. So I'm hoping with this one that I can just kind of wear it all day and not have to worry about what it's looking like. So let me give you a quick view from all sides. And um, here's the back. And here's my left side. She's so cute. I just love how sassy she is. I, I actually, I don't know. It may not make me look younger, but I just feel younger. And, you know, like I said, maybe it's that short shag bangs, kind of Joan Jet. Maybe not Joan Jet, but <laughs> anyway, you get what I'm saying. Let me take her off for you and we'll look at the inside of the cap real quick. All right. So the difference in between these two wigs is, is the cap, definitely. Um, this cap has a mono crown, which is supposed to give you the illusion of part. You're supposed to be able to sort of see a part in there. Um, you really can't see a part. So I don't think you're going to really see any scalp in there. But with this, a wig like this, you don't really need to see scalp because you've got a lot of layers going on up here. And it's choppy and there's just no need for it. But... Anyway, um, it does have a little more body up top, and I think uh, with this mono crown, it just has a little more permatees. Um, it is this is a low density wig. I would I would put it in the low density category, um, which is what I really try to cater to. It does have a little too much fluff 
up here for me. I don't normally like that much height, but you can kind of work with it and push it down. And I think with the bangs, it kind of offsets the height and the fluffiness. And I mean, it does make me look like I have a lot more hair than I normally do, but um, that's okay. I think I'd rather have more hair than no hair. <laughs> so, um, the other thing I don't like about this, um, it does not have Velcro adjusters. It has the hooked adjusters, which um, tend to come loose. And sometimes I sew them onto there. Once I get the hook that I really like, I just sew them on there. Um, but aesthetic caps are generally a little too big for me. So as you can see, I have this cinched in pretty far for this cap to fit me, but it's comfortable. It's a comfortable cap. Um, and of course, there's no lace front and the ear tabs pretty much are just basic. There's no, there's no felt, but they're comfortable. The cap's comfortable. I haven't, I haven't had any problems with the comfort of this wig. You can sort of see, um, here's the root on that. And you can see a little bit the mono crown. So you get a little illusion of scalp. Oh, there you go. But it's just in that general area right there. All right. So, I'm going to pop her back on for you. And show you sort of what I'm talking about if you if you don't aren't comfortable with the with the big fluff on the top. Um it does have some permatease a little bit, not 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 really bad though. It has a little permatease. Um it has some at the nape and a um, little bit on the sides. But really, this style, you know, I guess just the way it's cut, I, I just don't feel like it's overly full. Um, but you can take the crown and just kind of flatten it back. You can take some product and put on it, flatten it down. You can pull the bangs pull it up a little more on the bangs and that'll make it kind of slide back on the, um, on the back side. But yeah, she's cute. She's sassy. Um, also I do think the, the dark root helps with it not look, um, so full on top. Okay. So I'm clipping this back. You guys are seeing what I'm seeing for the very first time, so I haven't tried this. Yeah. So that's cute too. It's kind of cute on the sides. Here's the back. So I haven't even seen that. That's kind of cute. I like that. This may um, be a good like transition um, for me wearing bangs into wearing the full wig because I don't normally wear bangs. So this is, um, this will be good for a little transition into the having the full wig on. She is Hunter by Aesthetica. And this color is RH1226 RT4. All right, so we're going to move on to the Tressalore New Wave. Um, her cap is a little different. And, of course, her color is way different. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys. I'm back, and I am wearing Tressalore's New Wave in the color Cherrywood HL. Super cute. I got this on closeout. I'm not sure where. Um, it's either Wig Studio One or Wig Outlet. Wig Studio One has a good clearance section. Uh, so does uh, Sister Wigs 
wigcloseouts.com. They have a pretty good clearance section. And then um, I found a couple of things at, at Wigs by Patty's Pearls clearance section. So do your research and, you know, you can get some pretty good deals actually on wigs that are closing out, clearance, sales, um, and of course, most of the wig sites, except for Wig Outlet, um, have coupons off, 30% off. Um, wig Outlet just doesn't, of course, have as many styles that you might be looking for, colors that you might be looking for. So um, you just have to do your, your research and see if you can find a good deal. You can also get um, discounts on Facebook for resale sites. And sometimes I purchase my wigs that way. The only thing you have to remember with that is you cannot return those. <laughs> so um, if you're confident and it's a, a rebuy or something like that, then, then that might be the way to go. So she's super cute. And I like this color. This is cherry wood. Look at the color. Isn't that pretty? Color is described as medium dark brown with medium auburn and light copper highlights. And that's pretty much what it is. So I'll let you take a closer look at this color. It's got the highlights running through. Pretty, pretty color. All right, so she is very, very similar to Hunter, in my opinion. Um, I think Hunter, I don't know, maybe her, maybe her layers are a little more curly looking. Um, I think maybe the new wave be ends are a little more razored. Maybe that's it. So let me give you 360 from all sides and um, we'll take a look at the inside of the cap. Here's the front. And here's the side. Here's the back. And here's the left side. And the cute bangs. Now, this cap does fit me a little big, so I have to cinch in the adjusters. Um, a good amount and the ear tabs really you know they're not they're not bad on on me but they're they're definitely um, sitting right on top of my ears I don't think that'll bother me throughout the day I mean they're they're, they're positioned in a in a good position so I think I should be okay it'll be interesting to see how um, wearing it a full day goes and pull these bangs back so what the difference in these two wigs let me pull my hair there the difference in these two wigs is this wig has a full hand tied lace front um, and it has a uh, mono top so you can actually, if you wanted to, you could pull this back and put it in a little clip, but you can pull these bangs back if you didn't want this wig. With the bangs completely, this cap, it's very different than Hunter. So she has a hand-tied uh, lace front 
And pretty much that's temple to temple. I, I don't know, I kind of struggle with, with why you would need this in this wig. The bangs are three and a quarter as compared to Hunter, they're three inches. So they're both a little bit big on me. Um, and just like the Hunter, you can see I've got these straps. <laughs> I've got them cinched way in. But it's cute, it's comfortable. Um, like I said, the bangs are three and a quarter. Down is five and a half. Um, the overall length is three and a quarter to seven inches. Yeah, see, I think these are just a little, I don't know, I think they're choppier. Nape is six inches and um, the weight is 2.71 ounces. I don't know if I said that already, but this is 2.71 ounces. And then Hunter is 3.35. You can sort of see, I mean, I think they're really good sister styles. But I think the Hunter is, um, I don't know, just the, the pattern seems to be just a little curlier. Whereas I think that the Tressalure is just a little more choppy. But here's the... Here's the front on both of them. And then um, there's the scout. This is my review of Hunter by Aesthetica and Tressalore's New Wave in the shaggy blob styles with bangs. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think between the colors and the styles. And if you've tried the styles and maybe something else that your opinion you may have about it that, that you think um, I would like to hear because I love to hear other people's opinions and what they think about the wigs that they have. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your day.